to Hermitcraft. I am on top of the thing and you can see I've made a semi-permanent staircase because I am going to start the next big project and if you were on my uh, Hermitcraft live stream, because I did kind of do a little Hermitcraft live stream, you will know exactly what that is. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do sort of like a ghost dragon kind of deal and it's going to come it's going to have its face over here and it's going to be a Chinese dragon. So, you know, and then it's going to be a rainbow ghost Chinese dragon. And I'm going to do the face today and it's going to come all the way around here. Different multicolored rainbow styles and sort of disappear into a cloud that I'm going to make up in the thing. But first I have to get up, you know, relatively high for this. But fortunately, I have got um, some ladders which I should probably put on as I go, because, yeah, reasons. Right, so I made a little platform, because, yeah, we're going to have to just put some stuff up here. And by stuff, obviously, I mean just like a, a, a crafting table. And it's just a, it's just a place that I want to go where I can just sort of come back and have a look at it. So it's, it's not going to be completely over it. So I figure we'll start it sort of, you know, sort of a little bit, over yeah so it's not completely over the thing it's just sort of partly over the thing right so we are going to be making um like well like i say it's a chinese dragon so its face is going to end up being um red because all chinese dragons faces that i've seen seem to either be red or they seem to be like abnormal i'm not i'm not saying they're normal um but it's going to come round and it's going to come so it's going to come round. Thing is, I don't know if I want its head to be facing down or tilted slightly. I don't quite know if that's a thing that I want to do. Um, so let's just start with the lower jaw. I don't know how big I want to make it. I don't want to make it like uh, massive. I kind of want to make it like maybe... If it's jaw, I, I kind of want it to have, like, a central, hmm, kind of like a central point. So I kind of want it to have, like, the same on each side. So if I, if I say that its jaw is, it's the, the lower part of its jaw is, like, five, um, doubloons. That's not the, what I'm thinking of, but if I, if I say, like, it has f five pieces on either side so I can get the jaw and then if we go out so we've got the inside of the mouth where all the teeth can go although there aren't that many teeth when it comes to uh, dragon jaws um they're kind of a they're kind of a thing so maybe we don't have that one out anymore right maybe I need to start thinking about the jaw and then I need to get a silk touch pick that's what I need to do. So I am going to go down. Okay, so I sort of got the, the lower jaw done. I think it needs to be uh, th maybe thickened out. But to be honest, the lower jaws of these dragons don't send, tend to be, like, huge. It's got to have a pink tongue. Bye, Zuljin. It's got to have a pink tongue flowing out because that's what they always do. And it's going to have the top jaw and then a s s that's going to be slightly longer. A snout that should go back. And then it should have like multicolored cheek for some reason they all have cheek tassels and then the the, the curly snot bits i always always imagine i know it's supposed to be fire but the curly snot bits that come out from the top of it you know what i mean you probably don't know what i mean but i'm gonna get the uh, basic jaw done and we'll have a look we'll, we'll get the top part of the jaw done and then we'll have a look again and then <clears throat> Because whilst this bit is tapered inwards, the next part, so so as you can see, it sort of comes into a point. The, the next jaw is sort of flat, flared, and s flat at the front, as opposed to tapered inwards. I don't know if you can see it now, but I've actually got some nostrils in. I need to bulk up the front of that a bit more, and then we can start working backwards on his eyes. It's actually coming together quite nicely. I'm quite impressed with, with myself. Yeah, a little egotistical. I'm... Yeah, shutting up now. Okay, so people ask me how I do this um, and why I, I tend to use uh, the, 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 
the stone, the, the, the nether stone. Oh, I could have just done that. The netherrack. Um, but partly because it, it, it gets away so easily, but also because it's very easy to change uh, buildings. So I'm sort of um, faffing with the head. Now, looking at that, looking from the side, and if I if I was to come out here a bit more, which is it's always a good idea. Thank you, Zuljian, for sleeping. I know you, you don't know that I'm... I'm 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 appreciating it, but I'm appreciating it. Zuldin is doing. But now I look about at it here. It needs to it needs to come up a little bit higher, maybe one or two blocks higher, and come back a little bit more forcefully. So always have if you're doing like sculptures, and sculptures are lots of fun. Freeform sculptures, freehand sculptures. I haven't actually planned anything. All I've got is I've got a picture of one of those Chinese dragon lantern type things on 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 my pictures. And um, yeah, so this obviously uh, needs to come back a bit more, but, but I, because I've been I'm plotting it out with material that doesn't really matter. So it maybe we need to have uh, this. This part was okay. It's starting to come up here, but maybe instead of maybe having a double step as it went up, and then go up. Right, so this is is maybe where the eyes should start coming in. And then up, up, up. Because it doesn't need to be much beyond that, but maybe that. Right, so now what I can do... And it you can't tell from above. You just literally can't tell from above. Um, so you always have to go and check off to the side. You don't really even have to go um, off particularly far. Uh, but just off to the side I mean from there that looks weird um, it needs bulking up along the snout part um, yeah so it actually does need that uh, it needs a sharper slope up it needs very obviously a sharper slope up okay that's cool I'm gonna fiddle with this a bit more and then I'm gonna get the head in properly okay done a little bit of faffing with the, with the cheek and it looks sort of like round. I haven't done the other side yet. Uh, I, basically what I do is I sort of got the basic head shape, sort of like a narrow band sort of in the centre, and then I sort of puffed it out like in a circly, bally shape on either side and then took in some of the edges off. I still need to do some of that on the inside, but we're getting there. We are, in fact, getting there, which is good. It's good. It's 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 a nice thing. I'm enjoying this. Okay, so we got the basic head. I know it looks like a bread of crocodile at the moment. That's because we don't have any desire, any 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 embellishments, and it's a bit weird because what's going to happen now? I can sort of point out with my cursor. It's going to have teeth, obviously, some big long teeth. It's going to have a pink tongue that sort of wavels across. It's going to have eyes. I haven't decided if they're going to be like jet black with with white pupils or just just black eyes. Um, I haven't decided if I'm doing them out of coal blocks, like just like, you know, or if it's at black glass, I'm going to try both. It's going to have cheek sort of embellishments. So sort of like green circles with blue flamey bits coming out. It's going to have the yellow fire hair thing that it always has. It's going to have the red snout curls that are always on the Chinese dragons um, and it's gonna have like little beardicles um, all the way across so yes that's that's the plan at the very least that's the plan so I am gonna get started with the teeth ah oh, oh yes a leg clear leg uh, as you can see, I've done the top teeth slightly bigger than the bottom teeth. Like I say, Ghost Dragon can't see much. You've got a tongue that sort of waves and tapers to the end. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. This is um, this is actually quite an entertaining project because you're not supposed to see the whole dragon, as it were. You're supposed to see, like, part of it. And I've got a, this image of it going quite far up, up and around as it sort of curls back on itself. I'm quite enjoying this. Um, okay, I'm gonna do the little weird tendrily bits for the nose, which is going to require all the red I've got probably, because it's gonna be quite a big tendrily bit. Yes. 
Okay, I don't know if you know what I mean by these little tenderly things, but these are the little tenderly things that, that sort of are on either side of a Chinese dragon. Um, they sort of go out as well, if you can just see, they sort of slightly... It should look much more boss from the front than it does from the side, but you know, it's... it's. I've got to do the other one now. Blech. Yay! Du dual nostril thingies! We did nostril thingies, yay! Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some eyes put in. Um, maybe just black eyes. I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some of the ink sacks that I have, and and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm trying to figure out eyes. Um, I'm thinking black with white pupils. I really don't like that because that looks vaguely obscene. Um, I'm thinking maybe doing sort of like a white slitted eye. Like show. That's quite nifty. I quite like the bigger eye. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with the big eye. Um, boop 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 boop. Glass dragon eyes, and then we need to have like. So if we if we have, sort of. eyebrows I don't particularly I think that would go here and then sort of like squiff no didn't mean to squiff that way I meant to squiff uh, this way let's have a look let's have a look at that eyebrow because that eyebrow Seems we oh angry dragon, angry dragon is angry, angry dragon is is difficult to create. Um, so it's sort of boop, 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 and then we go a boop, boop, and then boop, boop again, and then we go up. Out and then swift. Dragon has eyebrows. Dragon has eyebrows. Rah! Zuljin's doing me. Uh, Zuljin offered to give me um, ink stacks uh, if, from 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 his chest, and now he's he's him and Etho are doing me a solid each time because it's so long to get down to my bed. They've been doing me like a a, a solid, and they've just been just doing it i think they're doing it for themselves but they, they've been helping me out no end so yeah we've got dragon eyes and now we need to do the fancy floofy bits fancy floofy bits away um i need to think about the fancy floofy bits as as i'm sure you understand they these are the fluffy fancy floofy bits and uh i cannot um no i'm just i, I actually don't know what i'm saying it's it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Um, sorry. Um, just, let's just do Tom Jones. Ah, it's not unusual. I'm going to stop. Um, and we're going to have to have yellow fluffy floofy bits. Because always have the yellow fluffy floofy bits. And then we need the beardicles down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on one fluffy floofy bit. I'm, I need to stop calling them that. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, to, yeah. And I also need blue. I think I have. I actually probably have blue already. Blue glass. Blue glass. Okay, so this is sort of the design that's going on. And it's going to have sort of flames coming out around the face. Um, at least a little bit. That That's the plan. Um, I was thinking about doing like little dangly chin feathers. Because basically a Chinese dragon has is, is basically like full of flames and feathers and all sorts but I was I'm, I'm debating those I'm not sure I'm considering I'm considering banners but I don't think they'd look good except they would flow in the breeze but if I did banners there then I would have to do banners all the way around 
and I'm basically going to be doing flames coming off the side. That green bit's going to be taken down a thing to a thinner green thing, so it doesn't look quite as disastrous because it is relatively disastrous. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fiddle with the design a little bit more. You know how it goes. At least you should do. You've been watching my videos long enough. If this is your but if this is your first video, hi. Welcome to, to Cleo. This is this is what I do. I make big stupid things out of glass. Actually, that is pretty much what I do. <sighs> okay, so I've got the little little flames on the side of I say flames. That that's what they're supposed to be. And I'm gonna have bigger bluer ones sort of across. And then we need like the hair stuff that sort of sweeps past. So yeah, he's going to have, like, uh, basically the opposite mullet. So, sort of, like, uh, a mullet is business on top, party in the back. It's party at the top, business in the back in this situation. So, um, so yeah, basically a comb over. That's what this dragon has got to have. It's going to have a comb over. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to have, like, little flames, like, like, blue flames coming out from these bits but I'm gonna have uh, the dark blue on hang on I'll do that one I'm gonna have the dark blue on the right hand side or the bottom and then light blue ones on the top so I get an extra bit of detail yes detail you know how I love it okay so that's the basics idea that I've got although I really kind of want this puffed out a little bit more so that the, the the back end of that should be floofed out. Floofing, technical term. No, it's not. It should be. It should be. I floof all the time. Do you floof? If you don't floof, ha, you're missing out on the, the, the floofing. Okay, that's more like it with the, the with the plo I don't know if you can see it. If maybe if maybe if I move, you can see it sort of ploofs out at the end of each tendril. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to do with with the dragon stuff. Um, I need to take that little green block off there. It's time to more, do more floofing. I love that word. That word, we floof. Today we are floofing. It's not faffing. Floofing is something different. And, and Slip should know that. He should, but he doesn't. There we go. That's sort of our dragon face. I'm actually uh, quite excited by this. This is... This is awesome. I do think, however, I need to put a bit more red inside his mouth just to, to give it like a... I know it's a lizard, but and lizards don't have lips, but a lipped look. Um, so sort of like instead of doing that, I do that. And then like so. I think that maybe would make it look better, give it a bit more, I don't know, definition. Hmm. I don't know if you can even see that. I mean, it's a good job it's a ghost rainbow dragon of awesome. That that's its official title. I need to do the blue ones down the bottom here. Yeah. I need to go do that on the roof, I think. Um uh, because I got the feeling it's going up from there, so its neck would be going up and around. Oh, for goodness sake, this is going to going to take way more glass than I thought it was going to. Everything always takes more glass than I thought it was going to. And I make lots of glass. Lots of it. Okay, I like that. It's very explosion of colour-y, but I think it, I think it works. I think, however, maybe I need to take that red out and replace it with green and make that slightly shorter there. Hmm. Overall, I'm actually quite, quite pleased with it. Hmm. Give me a few moments and I'm going to take away the scaffolding and we'll have a look and see what actually no I'm going to do the I'm going to do the the hair first I say the hair the horns really they're horns um I've been calling it hair for so long it's sort of feathery horny kind of yeah weird they're going to be bright yellow though so <laughs> two bright yellow horns later and I think I'm actually almost done I, I technically have to do the thing on the other side um the face thing but you know that's something that i can maybe work on later 
when 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 I when I've had more stuff to think about. Yes, stupid voices. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will stop with the stupid voice. Okay, so I think I probably need to go here. All right, you can see the horns coming out, and then the heads, the body will go up, round, and into a cloud, and it will be a rainbow dragon. It's very brightly coloured. I'll give myself that much. Very. I, I actually quite like it. I think if it was done in in solids it would be very well it would be less confusing however that's not what i'm going for like i say ghost dragon ghost dragon is is ghost rainbow dragon away it's like those kids from captain planet i know they didn't do a dragon but you know just 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 let it go let it go can you just let me have one thing one thing it's all i'm asking for I don't know, you people be the death of me. Actually, you probably will be the opposite. You'll be the life of me. There you go. Um, I'm not sure that that actually works, but I'll, I'll go with it for now. So I'm going to take the scaffolding down for now. This is just the head. I don't know if I was I made that absolutely clear. Just the head. Um, because, uh, yeah, I just, I just don't have the, uh, I don't have the glass to do the entire body. Uh, I don't have the several hundred hours it's going to take to do the entire body. Actually, no. It's, once I get the once I get the sand in, I'm, what I might do is I might do that on a live stream. I might do the body on a live stream. But yes, Rainbow Dragon. Well, at least the start of it. I should probably hang on. If I take that, where should where? Sh I'm going to take down the scaffolding before I take a picture. But actually, yeah, you know what? I am going to say. I will see you once all the scaffolding is down. So anyway, yes. I actually think it looks quite good. I think, looking at it, the, the larger eyes are slightly cartoonish. And maybe having the white in there is, is, is detracting from the seriousness of it. So the seriousness of it is a bright rainbow dragon. But I do kind of like the, uh, the effect. And I do like the fact that it's going to swirl around... And I can actually see it in my mind's eye now and it doesn't look poo. So I feel a lot better now that, that it doesn't look poo in my mind's eye. Um, it took me a little while to get there, but I think I'm going to do it. I think it's going to do it justice. So yes, Ghost Dragon. I've been Zombie Cleo. This has been Hermit. Explosion. Class dismissed. Running away. Running away.